Hi, I'm Jonathan, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the classification template. The classification template allows you to use a machine learning model through the ML component to determine whether a thing of a certain class is detected or not, and apply an effect based on this information. The ML component allows you to extend Lens Studio beyond what it comes with. To help you get started, this template comes with an example model. Like other templates using the ML component, to fully customize this lens, you can bring your own model. Take a look at the Lens Studio website where we provide example code and a walkthrough on how you can make your own. To get started, first open Lens Studio 3.0 and select the classification template. This template comes with a model example to determine whether a person is wearing glasses or not, and show some effects when state changes. To bring your own model, drag and drop the model from your computer file system to the resources panel. Next, we'll tell the template to use this model. In the object panel, select ML component. Then, in the inspector panel, click on the field next to model. And then in the pop-up window, choose your newly imported model. Now we can set up the glasses classification controller to use the output of this model. To do this, select the single class classification controller and set the output name field to be the name of the output that was listed in the ML component. The single class classification controller has a list of scripts that will be called under the scripts with callback parameters. The controller will call the onFound and onLoss API method found in the script listed here, depending on whether the probability provided by the ML model is above or below the threshold property. This template provides some helper script to help you use these triggers. The glasses when no glasses example in the objects panel shows an example of how you can use the classification behavior helper script to send custom triggers when classes found or lost. In the objects panel, expand the glasses when no glasses objects hierarchy and select behavior child object. In the inspector panel, you can see it has two behavior scripts on it. One enables head binding, which contains the AR glasses when glasses lost custom trigger is called, and another disables it again when glasses found is called. In other words, we tell the lens to show the AR glasses when there are no glasses in the real world. We can modify the behavior script to change the effect trigger. For example, instead of enabling or disabling our glasses, we can change the color of the glasses. To do this, in the behavior script, change the response type dropdown of the behavior script to set color. Then, select the material target field. In the pop-up window, we'll choose what we want to change. In this case, the frame material. Next, we'll choose our color. Let's do the same for the behavior script which is triggered on glasses loss. Now you can see that when the Snapchatter takes on or off her glasses, you can see the AR glasses change its color. There's a lot more you can do with the behavior script. Take a look at the behavior guide on the Lens Studio website for more information. The template comes with other helper scripts to help you build your experiences. The play particles on glasses found example uses classification API caller helper. This script is useful to call API functions of other scripts. In this case, this helper is calling the start particles API function of each of the particle confetti script. The simple text example provides a simple scripting example of modifying the text of a text component based on the trigger. You can also make your own script to respond to the classification model. Take a look at the classification example helper for a simple example that you can modify. Nice! Now that we have our effect triggering based on our classification model, we're ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Preview on Snapchat in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Send Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. The lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, Follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own lenses using the classification template.